<clears throat> to me, theoretically, if we were to follow these people over the next 10 years, the quality of their life should improve strikingly. I mean, there are all kinds of studies showing how important it is to get adequate sleep. And so by using this, and, and it sim seems to me that a minimum of 40% of Americans should be doing this. It would improve, I mean, just think of that, 40% of people having their health improved just by using something this simple. Now, if you take the fact that most Americans aren't even sleeping, even though they don't complain of insomnia, they're not sleeping adequate length of time, it could have a powerful effect on almost everybody because a majority of people are not getting adequate sleep. It could probably change obesity. It could probably change heart disease and diabetes. These three huge illnesses just by having people sleep better. Now, obviously, there are other things. In the meantime, uh, David and Dr. Steve came to visit me, and I brought our farm foreman, who's been with us for 20 years. And before Joe, Joe came to visit, uh, work for us, he'd had seven operations on his shoulder. And he had used before he even knew me, my TENS device to help control his pain. But it's cumbersome. You can't work as a farm foreman very well wearing a TENS device all day. And I had tried at least a dozen different approaches to Joe's shoulder pain. While they were there, we put on ice wave patches. I don't think it was three minutes, maybe two. Joe was free of pain for the first time in well over 20 years. I mean, this is remarkable. He has used the patches only once or twice in the ensuing three months, and he's still free of his shoulder pain. I mean, it's the best I've seen. <clears throat> I've had a chance to play with a few other people. I haven't done a research project specifically on this, but I was doing a workshop in Hilton Head last month and two of my students in my class had chronic back pain, so I uh, happened to have taken some ice wave patches with me, and I put them on them. Now, one of the students I didn't see after that day, but her pain was gone within five minutes or less. And the other woman I saw every day for the next two days, and she was still free of pain from my application. So I at least am reasonably sure that that is another of the remarkably safe things that one can use to help many people with chronic pain. And after discussing with David and Steve what else was on the horizon, I made a suggestion that we should consider studying reductions of prostate-specific antigen. I have this personal fetish. I don't want any urologist in the world to know I have a prostate gland. <laughs> I, I say that on my radio show almost every, every week because, you know, they, they want to stick 30 needles in your prostate gland, which to me is absolutely barbarian nonsense. You couldn't pay me to have a needle stuck in my prostate gland. I mean, I'd rather be dead. And, I mean, you're, you're, you're entering the third most vascular organ in the body with a needle 30 times, and you might go through cancer and miss it. I mean, come on. At any rate... So we're now doing a small pilot study on 10 men who have a PSA elevated upon the magic number of, above the magic number of four, which is when the urologists want to uh, stick needles in your prostate. I've only got a couple of weeks under my belt with doing that, but the first two people who finish two weeks, their, their PSA is down about 10%. So it looks as if it's going to be another positive thing. Prior to learning about LifeWave, I concentrated on what I would call electromagnetic nanotechnology. I've written several papers on it. Uh, I've talked many places about the use of nanotechnology because what we've been doing is electrically stimulating various acupuncture points with 54 to 78 billion cycles per second at 75 decibels of intensity which is a billionth of a watt per centimeter square, a billionth 
of a watt per centimeter square. And that's what we've been applying to acupuncture points for the last 15 years. And we've demonstrated doing that, that we can do a number of things. We can raise DHEA. That is helpful in people with migraine. Now, this is one of the reasons I'm going into this, because I think now I would like to challenge you who are getting excess to Eon to consider this. In the people where we raised DHEA, we also did a study on migraine. And we got 75% of people with frequent migraine markedly improved by using the circuit that we used to raise DHEA. We got 80% of people with diabetic neuropathy to get rid of their pain and improve their sensation. We got 70% of people who had failed conventional medicine with rheumatoid arthritis, markedly improved with this particular approach. We got 70% of people out of depression (laughs) with that particular approach. We've also had circuits which we could stimulate which would raise calcitonin, which makes the bone stronger and also helps relieve pain. And we've had another circuit where we could reduce free radicals 85%. And of course, we've heard a lot about that already today. So now you have a product which theoretically can do all of those things at the same time. So I would hope that those of you who are in the field will take advantage of Eon to use for all of these things because I think it's well worth trying. If we look at reducing inflammation, reducing free radicals, or reducing homocysteine, those things are going to help a wide variety of people with every, almost every major uh, illness. And so I personally am certainly going to explore the possibility of how well these affect those enzymes and and hormones that are important, but I encourage you to do the same thing. And, of course, uh, I I would like to encourage all of you to push silent nights to help our country sleep better. Thank you. Well, Dr. Sheely, as you can tell, is uh, an absolute expert in his field and we are just so grateful and feel very fortunate that he's uh, found uh, the time uh, to, to join us in this great effort. And uh, again, thanks to Dr. Dr. Kwila for introducing us to him, and thanks to Dr. Sheely for not only being a brilliant guy, but also having the soul of a healer. So thank you, Dr. Sheely. Thank you.